All right, uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to debug your JavaScript code. And I know sometimes it's very difficult to find mistakes. Unless you have a program like it tested JavaScript for you, if you're using like Notepad++ or if you're using like just normal Notepad, sometimes it's very hard to figure out where the mistakes. So I'm going to show you how to use the debugger in Google Chrome. Now I have a, I have a page. In this page, it's, uh, I put some mistakes on purpose. Uh, we have uh, the, I have a, a form. I have in this form a button that says, when you click on it, you call a JavaScript function called greeting. Now this is a mistake, I know. I put it purposely, on purpose. And then I have here a JavaScript, small JavaScript function that gets the value from that field and just produce a greeting, okay? It's not that complicated. And also there are some mistakes in the JavaScript. So there is a mistake in the HTML and there's a mistake in the JavaScript. So how do we figure out these mistakes? So when you run it, this is what you get. Like when you run it, this is what you get. You're supposed to type in something in here and when you, get into, when you hit enter, you will get the message in here. Now, if you look at, if you want to find these mistakes, you can always go back and hear and read the code and try to write, read line by line, and that would take a long time to find the mistakes. But Google Chrome has this tool, nice tool, which is a debugger that allows you to do this part. And how do you debug your code? Okay, here's my page. You click on the uh, menu here. One of the options is called More Tools. When you click on the more tools or point at it, you get developer tools. You click on that. Now what you see is actually you're seeing your page. You're seeing your page with the, uh, with the source code. Now here, I'm going to close this part. Here is your, uh, this is your different panels in your code. But if you click on it, if you want to see the source, here's my source code. Same source code that you were seeing. Now, right away, you have different files. Here's your source code. You have the, the actual source. And here's what we call this. This is your debugger. This is your debugger actually allowing you to step through your code. Now, right away, you'll see that on top, what do you have? One error. So how do I know where that error is? You just simply click on it, and it will give you the definition of that error. It says that uncut reference error greeting is not defined. So the function that we're trying to call is not defined. So if you double click on it, it shows you the line number where is that error. And it shows you the error in where in that code. So we got, at least we have an error. It doesn't, what happens is that when you solve an error, it doesn't mean that all the errors are gone. It shows you one error and you might have to go and fix it. And then when you fix it, Maybe other errors will appear. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go and at least I know that there's a problem, so I need to verify that that function is actually, is the same name. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to the code, here's the code, and check that line. Okay, here's greeting. Oh, but my function name is called ing instead of ng. So okay, great, I, hopefully this would solve it. I solve it. Control S, save it. I go back to my Google Chrome, refresh the page, and see what, let's see what happens. Okay, now if I enter the code, enter, oops, I got another error, right? And it says this one here, they cannot read property value of a null greeting. Okay, what does that mean? So I can click on this, and determine the error here now. Now this is a JavaScript error, not an HTML error. So how do we fix this problem and how do we leave this error? So this one says that you got, uh, you're trying to reference, you're trying to get a value of something that is null. How do you get a null thing? This guest name, when you're trying to get it, you're getting a null. That means it does not exist. How do I verify that this is the field or this is the input field that I actually wanted to get? What do you do? You go back to your HTML and you compare. Okay, here is the guest name. 
oh, wait a minute, there's a difference. You see, this one is guest name capital N, and this one is guest name with a small n. So now I can fix that problem. Okay, so I can go in here. I can go in here and type in, all right, N. Or I'll go back to the code, and then this should be capital N. Okay, great. So we fix that part, control S. Now, I want to show you a common mistake also that you find. Okay, sometimes if I don't put this value, okay, what do you, what happens actually? And this is a common mistake that I see between, you know, with you guys. So if I save it, I refresh the page, okay, everything, no, no HTML errors at least, okay, and no syntax in the Java script. But now if I enter a value, for example, and then I click on enter, what happens? Oh, okay, no errors. But what am I getting here? You got an object HTML input element. You did not get the value that you enter. You got actually the text field that you, you got the object itself. So to solve that problem, you can do it with a breakpoint. If you don't know what's happening, you can do it in a breakpoint. So what do you do? How do you set the breakpoints? You can start here because these are just variable definition. And then when you click on enter again, here is your debug. This we call that a breakpoint. When you click on the breakpoint, you can see what's happening. So this here is called step over. And in most cases, in most cases, this is what you want because there's a logical error here. There is no syntax error. The output is not correct. I want to know why the output is correct, is incorrect. So what do you do? You step over. Next, all right. That one's successful, no error. But let's see what's, what is it giving us, okay? So it says it's an input, and here's the guest name. It, it's an input field, it's not a value. It's an input field called guest name. It doesn't have the value, the actual value that I got, all right? So that, okay, so we maybe this is a problem if you don't know, but it, obviously it's a problem because we're not getting the value. It should have gotten Omar. So now if I do step through again, step over again, okay, that worked, that worked. Here's my message. And what well, was the message? Good morning, object, HTML input, not the value. So, okay, I know this is a problem. Now I want to go and back, go back and fix it. So what do I do? I go back in here, instead of this, uh, I must use value here, right? So that will do the value, control S. And then now, you go back in here, refresh, here's your page, that breakpoint stays there, unless you remove it. But you can test, keep it, and, and, and see how it works. So if I enter Omar again here, and then click on enter, here's the breakpoint, step over, See, now the difference is what? Now I got actual value that the user entered. It's called Omer. So you can see the value, what's happening in your code. Next over, okay, so the message says here, what is the message? It shows you, good morning, Omer. So the message at least looked good, right? Okay, so now you do what? Next, next, and then here's your message. And then if you click on run, if everything is fine, just click on this one would run it. Run, here's your message. All right. This tool is simple, but it's very, very, very useful for you guys because it's very hard to find mistakes in JavaScript because it's running inside the browser. And the only way to do it sometimes is that you have to use this debugger. All right. I'm going to stop recording.